Recording. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Halo Joe 609 and I am server rig 231. And we are back with more redstone videos and tutorials. You guys asked, and 6 months later, we delivered. I know it wasn't the quickest or the fastest, but we are back once again. We're going to be doing more redstone tutorials, a lot more videos. <laughs> And uh, we actually have one today that we're going to show off. It's called the RS NOR switch. We're, we're just explaining the concept of the RS NOR switch while showing it through a invention I created. Shall we? All right. No. For anyone who doesn't know, the RS NOR switch is simply this. Joe, over here. This is the RS NOR switch. And as simple as that looks, it is very useful because what you do is when you have one input that goes through that input lasts so basically it won't change even if I hit this button multiple times it doesn't change where the hell oh, it doesn't change anything until I hit this button so basically let's just show you the adventure so why don't you demonstrate jokes since you're the camera alright uh, let's uh, oh free diamonds oh hey Jake does it there's a chest. Should I go? Oh my for god, it? this is bad role playing. Just move it on. <laughs> I got shit to do. <laughs> All right. Wow. Would you look at this? What the? F ah! <laughs> so basically, when you step on the stone pressure plates in the beginning of the tunnel, the current stays on, and will not. Here, Joe, just come out well, like you with your compass. It. Just use your compass. I want to show them the reset. <laughs> The circuit will not change until the reset button is hit, and which Joe, when he comes, I don't have a compass. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I was gonna teleport you, and the circuit will not turn off until you hit this button right here. And the reset button. Right there, and that'll probably screw. Uh, can you screw. do it? I just want to yeah. show them that. And I hit the reset button. These doors open. The water. Now watch, down. I'm going to hit the reset button a few times. When I hit it, nothing happens. So, nothing's going to change until this side of the current is activated again. So I'll step in, and the current activates and closes the doors and drowns you. Now that won't shut off until the reset button is hit. So it's a simple concept, but it can be used to create a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, so why don't we show the wiring down here? All right. I, this is I created this months ago, by the way. Yeah. That's so. Uh, this was uh, when I originally showed off the redstone world. Like most of all of this was not here. I had like two inventions over there. Hey Joe, come down here to where the pressure plates are underground. All right. Uh, this does look like a lot of redstone wiring, but it, it... it's just because I did it really crappy. Yeah. So basically, we start up here, and we have the stone pressure plates right above these two blocks right where that redstone wire is and then the current when the redstone is activated which I'll show you here just stand there when I step on the pressure plates the redstone activates right yep. okay so now we go down below and the current activates this side of it which ah, this is hard to explain one part of the RS nor switch this yes this these two blocks here with these torches on it is the RS nor switch itself over here this current here is the uh, reset button. So basically, this one goes up to the surface to reset. When a current is activated through this, this will change the side, which will then allow the blocks to close and the water doesn't drown you anymore. Right. But, um, so when the step pressure plates are activated, which means it turns on this side of the RS North switch, which turns off this side because it's inverted. So then the inverted off side of this wiring comes up here. And basically, and then. It inverts it back on, so yeah. the pressure plates are out. It powers so, the pistons to uh, release the water, and also both sides of the doors. Yeah, it powers the it it powers the both sides of the tunnel to close with the four block technique. Yeah, so you can't get out. It uh, two from the side and two from the bottom coming up. So the only complex part is the RS North switch. But here, Joe, come here. Coming. Basically, it's just a block. Another block. And then, um, torches caddy corner, and then redstone wire added on top, and then over here. So now half this side is off, and half this side is on. So when a current is activated over here, it would switch sides, and it won't change. For example, again, 
when I activate this side, this side turns on and that side turns off, and vice versa. So that's the basic concept of the RS North switch, and you can any ideas that you could create with Joe? Uh, I mean, this is just one of them I came up with. Well, you can do a lot. Um, basically, there's a lot of puzzles. Um, I know in uh, games, what are they called? Uh, escape oh, maps. I know one. Yes, <clears> yeah. <throat> yeah. You can you can have a pressure plate floor, and you have to go through a certain path on the pressure plates. Uh, Jay, so uh, if you step talking about that, why don't you follow me over here? Oh, we did it. Well, I did all my spare time. Uh, and it, I found it. Which you have a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this is it. Uh, now, I don't know what I we don't... were smoking because there's uh, no way to tell which is the right path. And it does not work anymore, Jake, because of the uh, update, like when we had to convert the world. It, yeah. it like, knocked out some Here, just, let's just show them the idea, though. Yeah, come down in to the uh, wire room. All right. So basically, oh, if you step on the pressure plates, which is above this whole area, there is a certain designated path. This is a little excessive, this <laughs> one right here. I forget what oh, type of switch yeah, is it. yeah, I know what this is. You didn't need it's that. It's penis flop switch. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> no, I don't know what it's called, but it is uh, something. Uh, it, I th it should just come above I think ground. its name is actually like the T-something switch. Just look. So I'm going to demonstrate, basically, let's say this was the path, and then that, or whatever. If you stepped on everyone correctly, the door would stay open so you could go through it. But if you stepped on one wrong, the door would shut and stay shut until you come all the way back and hit the button, in which case it would open again, which I just broke it because I have pickaxe, super pickaxe on. But um, that's the basic, that's just another concept you could use, but there's a lot to do with the Arsenal Switch. It's very useful in certain occasions. It's good to just get it down, make sure you know it early, so then when you ever, you know, need it. I'm not going to say you need it every day, but when you do need it, you'll know. It's just a nice advanced redstone tool. But, yep, that's about it. Uh, do you want to just showcase off a little more of the world? Mm, no, not really. It's just uh, RS Switch. Oh, you don't? N n not, not really. Alright. Uh, more coming later. Uh, this is basically, again, the first episode in the advanced redstone tutorial. Uh, this was the RS North Switch, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna start posting more videos uh, more frequently, and uh, I think yeah, we're we're gonna start getting back into this. All right, yeah, anything to say, Jake? Uh, well, me? Yeah. Your, your, oh, <laughs> your name is Jake. Uh, I not really. Not. I mean. All right. Uh, I guess that pretty much concludes it for this video. Uh -huh. Yep. And, uh, Just, have a good uh, day. Alright.